Hey guys, today I have a, a pistol from Phantom Forces. Um, in real life, this was used by the uh, U.S. Marines for a while. An updated version of a classic handgun. Here we have the M45A1. Let's get into it, because <laughs> there's a lot to unpack. Trigger. Sorry, it doesn't move. Couldn't get a spring to fit in the grip. But, working mag release on a pistol! Mag has, had to look like this. Has a little stopper, and it holds 10 rounds of 45. Because, uh, I, mean, I think some of you might be thinking, What? But the 1911 holds 7. So how could this hold 10? Well, um, you see, uh, we've gotten better with packing more rounds into bags. <laughs> yeah, best way I can describe it. Working pistol safety. It's just like the 1911 one. Twist it, and the slide can't move. And if you twist it back, then it can't move. Hammer. Resets with the slide. Slide. And slide lock. I used two rubber bands, so it was nice and snappy, even when you put attachments on it. Yeah, I made it some attachments. It's a little uh, uncomfortable there, but oh well. Very snappy. So, uh, a tactical rail, which I actually made an attachment for. This little thing, I guess. Uh, it can be a flashlight or a laser, because, well, uh, either piece will go in. And I'll show you how. It's as simple as just popping a little piece in right there. I still have another one for flashlight, but if you use a flashlight in Phantom Forces, what are you doing? <laughs> Lasers are better. And here I just have a green laser. Doesn't matter what color, any lightsaber piece will work. Yeah. Grip. Got it run out on the back with the beaver tail. And uh, yeah, safety's on the other side too. The slide isn't completely smoothed out, but I think I got a decent shape. Got some night nice sights. And I got the uh, 1911 front, that's it with a guide rod. Yeah, looks really good. So there was originally a 45 round in the chamber, but I couldn't because of the rubber band. Because if I had the rubber band below the bullet, then it just, uh, the side wouldn't work. <laughs> and led to a lot of stability problems and friction problems, but yeah. Yeah, trigger guard, not what I, not exactly what I wanted, but it was literally the only thing that worked, and I think it still turned out pretty good. And, uh, yeah, some, uh, more details, I guess. Yeah, some tape was used just for additional stability, otherwise this gun would not be, uh, able to be, uh, wobbled. Because of the connection I had to use, it's all I could do. I tried other I tried other techniques, but they just wouldn't. Oh well. Let's show some attachments. Ooh. Let's show a attachment I have for it. A little mini RDS. Little dial. And uh, yeah, now it looks very tactical. Especially with the way that the mags look. And I also have uh, two spare mags, uh, so I could actually properly reload. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Sorry, it's kind of... Nah, there we go. I thought I'm doing a tactical reload, even though I'm empty. <laughs> yeah. That's every single little feature on this thing. And, uh, yeah. These were from old LEGO things. My, uh, f original Fortnite burst rifle. And yeah, this was on a box of 9mm I had called the El Cheapo. <laughs> Ironic, considering, uh, modern circumstances. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really like this. And... Per the request of like all of you for asking for a tutorial for a gun, and this one uh, Minecraft YouTuber I think I forgot his name. I'll uh, probably put in a comment or the next video. Um, I will make a tutorial. It will be long. It will be complicated, but I hope you all will like it. Just make sure to give credit if you ever build it, okay? And uh, yeah. 
So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.